Hello and welcome to Chris Christie's sex tape. Blah. I'm your host, Michael Riley. With me is Dan hey. Ford Jones. Hey, are you going to finish that sandwich? I'll finish on that sandwich. And then Jason Amherst is also here. Hi. Hey, everybody. I think you have Today, to be to watch Chris Christie's sex tape. <laughs> the 836 times a charm, right, Blake? I don't know what you're talking about. It's first time. Uh, no, no, it's totally didn't start it's the this. The eleventy seventh time. I totally haven't been playing this le- uh, this this level since fucking halfway through the last episode. <laughs> oh, God. Insert uh, insert quick compilation of every single death. Absolutely not. I'm not doing that much work. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> this will make it will make the episode four hundred and seven. Yeah, right. Why, why don't I basically just put th- throw the last thirty minutes of the previous episode in again <laughs> I mean literally just the deaths just the deaths the moment of the balloon popping <laughs> so much balloon popping yeah until the number stops going down because I'm using save states now because I'm tired of losing lives I spent 20 lives on this fucking level, and I'm I'm good. I would rather just get this over with. Get this fucking DK coin, one of the hardest DK coins to get in the game, in my opinion. I know it's easy for Jace because he's a monkey expert. You, I mean, you're an expert with monkeys. You produce one for a living. Yeah. And I don't mean, I, I and, hope, and folks, adult. folks, I don't mean he produces it like out of his pores, like sweat. I mean he produces. Oh, <laughs> he that was ma- the number two guy. I know. Can you imagine if like Congo Kong just came out of your fucking pores? <laughs> Help! What am I doing here? <laughs> what the fuck? I'm a trickster god, monkey man. I'm an, ape. I'm an ape from New England. What am I doing, man? What am I doing coming out of a fucking handsome man's pores? <laughs> Gonna make you sweat, baby. baby. So uh, I watched like an hour long video <laughs> talking about the samples used in DDR. Yeah. It's amazing how many of those songs aren't actual legitimate lyrics to anything. It's just stuff pulled from sample CDs. Understand, 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 understand. I have a different different song. Uh, so Cousin Much Mayhem. Uh, monkey, uh, I can't remember. It's like Cousin Much Mayhem, Monkey Drama, Radical Rebel, with the Neat the Bomba. Like... That was a sample. Like the lyrics, <laughs> the lyrics in all of these songs, it's like, they're not real lyrics. Oh my God. Everything's been a lie. Even, even the title screen, it's not somebody getting paid to say dance, dance, revolution. It's a guy who said dance and revolution, and they just looped the dance. Whoops. <laughs> Mulligan. You didn't see that. That didn't happen. I saw it. You, 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 twirled, you twirled to the I, ground. I don't know how you saw it. Chris Christie was standing in front of it. I, that dude causes a fucking eclipse. <laughs> you know the thing that happened in like April? That was him. He floated in front of the sun. Oh, I'm just going to block this out for a minute. <laughs> mm. Is, is Donald Trump trying to get Chris Christie big from from all of the Big Macs and whatnot? And then Sting looked up at it and went, There's a gigantic black spot on the sun today. You know, if I, if I fart, that, that could be considered a solar flare. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. So, uh... <laughs> I wonder if there's beer on the sun. Probably not. 
Why don't Hello, you go? Uh, hey, Chris, why don't you go to the sun and find out? <laughs> and then okay. Work back. <laughs> I'll, I'll report back with my point. Chris, Christy reports back. Ah! <laughs> All right. Actually, he doesn't. Actually, he wouldn't even make it to the sun. He would melt before he even got close. <laughs> you know, with with the tremendous amount of layers of blubber, I think he might actually be okay. You think he might fly through it like the Enterprise? <laughs> Possibly. I would pay good money to see that, actually. Chris Christie flies through the sun. Only loses two layers of fat. Chris Christie! God ah! damn it, it smells like a walrus on here! <laughs> Fly through the sun! <laughs> is, that, is that a walrus I smell? No, it's Chris Christie. Oh, fuck! Excuse me, Mom. You're excused. <laughs> You're excused. No, you're excused. No, you're excused. No, you're a towel. <laughs> <laughs> we have fun here. Sometimes. References. Yeah. Golly. <laughs> okay. A very delayed... Uh, Gomer Piler. <laughs> Golly! Now, let's see. I booted up the I booted up the game in that level again. Well, uh, uh, yeah, Mike, I just wanted to let you know I beat all three Super Mario Brothers games <laughs> and lost levels and uh, the first two DKC games, and I'm halfway through the third one, and you still haven't beaten this fucking level. <laughs> uh, lost levels is a really freaking hard game. Actually. I know that's kind of the joke. It is though, especially if you have, to, especially if you want to play through it all the way, because there's actually twelve worlds. Yeah. Let's go all the way. Oh, you're such a sly fox, Dane. Thank you. Boom, boom, chimmy, mimi. Dane and I just aged ourselves. Do 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 do. Nickelodeon. Nickelodeon. We like feet. <laughs> <laughs> that caught me off guard. <laughs> Listen, the Nickelodeon Studios movie logo was, was a, a fucking foot. foot. It's Dan Schneider's fault. Don't tell me. And one done. That's why I prefer both the pre Dan Schneider era of Nickelodeon, which is where all the game shows took place. Dan Schneider didn't have a fucking thing to do with any of those. And I'm, I'm perfectly fine with that. Oh, uh-oh. What happened? What happened? I don't know. What happened? I don't know. You left and came back. I didn't hear him leave. I did. I heard... Doo -doo -doo -doo. And I, I know it. Uh, and I, I know didn't do it, anything. I, was, I know it's not a sound effect because he's not at home. Wasn't wasn't me, boss. So, something happened. I don't know what happened then. I didn't lose connection. I'm still, I'm still. My internet's was, fine. I think he was crazy. I mean, it's on recorded audio. If you'd like me to play it back. Nah, you can't bullshit a bullshitter. <laughs> I I literally didn't do shit, so I'm thinking. Uh, it was I, just, uh... <laughs> that just reminded me of uh, fucking. Uh, I think you should leave, Tim Robinson. I did my part. I did my part. I did my part. I didn't do fucking shit. <laughs> I ain't seen shit. <laughs> It's just a matter-of-fact way that he says it, too. I didn't do fucking shit. Don't blame me for this. <laughs> Two. I think You Should Leave, by the way, is a very a vastly underrated sketch comedy time. show. What happened? I used the boost that time. How are you playing the fucking game at work? <laughs> On my Switch. Oh. So you literally did boot up the game and are playing it? Yeah. Yeah. And you beat it using the boost? Yep. 
beat it once with boost and once without. All right. Whoa. You know what? You can go. You can absolutely go. Just fuck all of yourself. You can insert yourself into a walrus's anus. <laughs> oh lord! Sorry, I suck at video games. Lord, there's got to be another way. There isn't. If you want, if we want this to be complete 102 percent, and that is the point of this playthrough, then I have to do this. Without the DK coin, it will not be 100 percent, 102 percent. And unfortunately, that is just how it is. I think what's making this a little easier is that this is one of my favorite tracks in the game, music. Oh, the song is a banger. Yeah, the song is great. That was, uh, that was number three. Fuck off. <laughs> I'm doing my best here, okay? I'm trying. Boy, like I said, I wish that I was recording my gameplay right now, just because it would be hilarious to see them lined up. <laughs> to see how many times you can beat the level before I beat it once? Yeah, that's real funny. That's hilarious. <laughs> I'm just little. <laughs> God damn it. Dixie, you fuck. <laughs> you fucking fuck, fuckity fuck. Can't you please save state? It's kind of hard to save. Kind of, kind of hard to save state when you're going a thousand fucking miles an hour. You're not going a thousand miles an hour. That's unless you uh, map the save state to a button. I don't even... I don't know the first thing about how to do that, so... And four. <laughs> Shut up! Oh, you're, my God. <laughs> you're, you're making me look bad in front of the chili. The chili? <laughs> the chili. You're, you're making me look bad in front of the employees at Chili's. Stop it. <laughs> I want my baby back, 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 ribs. Ribs. Chillies, baby back, ribs. Baby back, ribs. Marky dolls. I want my motherfucking baby back, ribs. Barbecue sauce. Gerbu for me. Excuse me? What? Sounds like you said, be for my wee. <laughs> be monkey pork chopping me, much. No, don't start that bullshit. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Tuesday's coming. Uh, Did you bring your coat? Uh, I'm feeling bad. I'm sassy. Do ya! Do ya! You know, you two jackasses can do this episode. No, you can't. Fuck you. Get back here. I'm taking a plate downstairs. <laughs> I'm taking a piss downstairs. <laughs> Where a pro a protest PS? <laughs> I'm going to take a piss for a walk. <laughs> Why do they call it taking yeah. a piss? You're not taking it anywhere. If anything, you're leaving the piss. <laughs> I'm Andy Rooney. Uh, <laughs> Why do they call the country Jamaica and they call a vegetable Hamaka? That makes no sense. They're spelled exactly the same. What? You Did never... you have a stroke? 
You've never heard of the vegetable Jamaica? It's spelled. No, I've it's never. Spelled Jamaica. But it's pronounced Jamaica or Jamaica or something like that. So it's, it's a Mexican thing. It's, they use it in Mexican dishes. Do you know that? As and I I've never and I've never understood why it's spelled Jamaica, but it's pronounced Jamaica. What? Mexican language. The fucking vegetable. You can buy it at fucking stores. God damn it. No. As I was coming up the stairs, it literally sounded like Mike was saying, I smell like a Jamaican. <laughs> and I was like, what the fuck <laughs> is he talking about? So I smell like marijuana is what you're trying to say. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Well, we just lost our Jamaican audience. Oh, so, so sorry, Bob Charlie. <laughs> hey, no problem, Bob. <laughs> ooh, ooh. <laughs> didn't, ooh. Didn't get the coin that run, but whatever. Will you stop making me look bad? I don't need your help in that department. <laughs> All right, beat the level for the 10th time. I'm going to beat it 87 more times. Boy, the music in this next stage is really awesome. If we could ever get to it. <laughs> oh my god. That's where I'd put my trophy if I had one. Dinkelberg. Oh my god. Oh my god. Please. I have done it! Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hang on, let me do the micism. Fucking finally! That took about. You know, I wonder if Mike would have gotten it faster if uh, you had been insulting him. That took about 50 minutes total to get that, and that's across two episodes. <laughs> You know, yeah, I probably should have been like, Mike, you fat, fat, fat. Instead of making all these Chris Christie fat jokes. I should have been calling Mike fat. You're right. Uh, yeah, you're right. I, I should have been a, a terrible Kevin. friend. And... <laughs> wow. Okay. Wow. Farts. You, you, you make fun of me all the time. Me, you me, say me, me. Me. Yeah. Mommy Moo Moo Moo, you do. I have a big Somebody fat Moo Moo face. Step right up, it's your lucky day on my boner bonanza. Did you call me a Moo Moo face? No. <laughs> I didn't. Oh. What is the name of this area of the island? It is Crazy Kremlin. Uh, the color is your parrot buddy. He is red, green, and yellow. The name of the two companies that produce this game in Donkey Kong Country, that would be Rare and Nintendo. Ooh. Way yeah. to break that fourth wall there, Swanky. Ugh. Hey, I uh, totally know this is a video game that we're in. Crazy Wait a minute, place. we're self-aware? What is the name of the first Wasp Hive level on this I mean, area of the I island? Is. That would be Hornet Hole. Name Hornet of the old hole. Lady Kong who runs Kong Cockle... Wrinkly. Cockley. Crafty. Uh, the wrinkly cock. Uh, what? Uh, that is what I'm looking for. Next one, please. Which Ooh, of these daddy. items cannot be found at Club's kiosk? Uh, an oil drum? Ah, uh, piss on my face. And tell me that you love me. I'll piss on your face and tell me I love you. Hey, there we go. It's a picture of K. Rule. Yeah, cl club ain't no friend of K. Rule. Uh, okay, this implies that I am paying money for booty. Booty? Baboon booty. What is your snake buddy's name? His name is... Slithers? <laughs> Slithers? <laughs> Slithers, have the Rolling Stones killed. Yes, sir. <laughs> what color waistcoat does old Cranbane Cranky Kong wear in the Monkey Museum? I don't fucking know, Red. Ah. Uh, eat my ass. All right, Ratley, is it green? All right. Which of these enemies have you not seen yet during this area of the island? Uh, Cato Ninetales, because he's in the next level. Cool. 
Cool, cool, cool. Ba bo ba da ba dee bo ba dee bay bo. That made you a did. full. That, that got me back about <laughs> half of the lives I spent on that last level. Well, at least you made back some of those lives. I like how the Monkey Museum has uh, Killer Instinct, apparently. Yeah. yeah. Mud Hole Marsh. Not Marsh. Stan Dorsh. Stan Dorsh, man. Man, Darsh, the woman is. The woman is. <laughs> I was uh, yeah, that, was, that was totally an accident. Kind of like, blah, 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 blah. Fuck you. Fucking, I always felt like pushing. the cat of nine tails kind of looked like Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah. That's no good. You kind of look like Sonic the Hedgehog. Well, that's right. I'm a marketable mascot. Lovely. <clears throat> Might help if I... Yeah. Oh, there's another fucking... All right, cool. Yeah, no, it's a chest within a chest within a chest. You're supposed to hit it across all the buzzards. Well, fuck it. Well, that was... Andy Klimak. Great strategy there. Listen. That, that was anticlimactic. <laughs> You're against chlamydia? All right, that's good. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably a good thing, honestly. Can't really... I don't, I don't really see any kind of situation where being pro-chlamydia is good. Porn star? I don't know. Chris Christie? Uh, sure. I'm, I'm, I was going to say if he was going to throw me up into the bus is, barrel, is, but... Is, isn't there a uh, theory that Trump has uh, chlamydia and that's why his brain's going? I, I've heard that from more than one person. Whoops! <laughs> Whoopsie boopsies! I'll just go back and fuck myself. <laughs> Gotta go back and fuck myself. Gotta go back and fuck myself. Gotta go back and Was it tiger. necessary for everybody to say it? <laughs> God damn it. No, you don't. Why you gotta be so rude? Don't you know I'm human, boo? <laughs> what? That's disgusting. Human feckus? <laughs> human fasces? And, uh, yes. Human feces. A human feces, yeah. The human feces is in your soul now. Na na na. Na 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 na. The human feces, yeah. The human feces, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Oh, 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 show us your balls. Oh, hey. Good job. Thanks. Oh, 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 oh. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Okay, so Shut the fuck up. next one's a cannonball. Shut the fuck so. up. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Whoa. <laughs> Gee, she's getting a little antsy there. What's going on? It's Adam's family. Hey, Adam's family. Hey, shut up. They're creepy and they're kooky. They're all it. together, rooky. And my friend's they name is Rookie. So shut the <clears throat> fuck up. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> shut the fuck up. 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 Hey, coming this Christmas. <laughs> they're stupid and they're shitty. Barbecue sauce on my titty. <laughs> oh! <laughs> they're despawned. I love the movie Walter Mitty. <laughs> <laughs> it makes me want to pee. Anyway. <laughs> it makes me want to pee. As I hope we never part now, get it right or pay the price. 
Anyway. <laughs> they're yucky and they're yucky and they're fucky. For ten dollars, they'll sucky. <laughs> I don't know. Triple H's friends named Chucky. <laughs> the the Adams <laughs> family. <laughs> Dude, dude. So like this a big is anniversary coming up for it too. For what? Adam's family. Oh. Uh, maybe. Ah! I missed a lily pad. Well, I got all the bonuses. This is one of the. Uh, this is the level that the DK coin is at the fucking end. In the fucking target. In the level target. And it's like, um, and it just shows up, I think, for like a quarter of a second. Oh, dear. Comic strip debuted in 1938. Oh, okay. <clears throat> so. 30, so, uh, uh, so uh, 96 years old, uh, 86 years old, something like that t this year. Something like that, yeah. Uh, with, uh,. uh the original TV series coming out September 18th, 1964. I see. Oh, pish, that's so good. that that show is about to uh, turn uh, 60 years old. Or is 60 years old, depending on when this airs. Yep. True. Well, that went about The franchise has spawned video game series, academic books, and soundtracks, uh, which academic are based book. around the Grammy nominated theme song. Hmm. Yeah, uh, The Adams Family and Evolution, uh, spelled E V I L U T I O N, uh, is a book about the evolution of the Adams Family characters created by Charles Adams. The book was made to celebrate the musical that opened on Broadway in 2010. Uh-huh. So uh -huh. it's apparently a uh, academic study of the Adams family. I thought, for, those of you for who... some reason, my brain omitted part of your word, and I thought you just said it was a mixed study, like it was a McDonald's study. For those of you who want to know, I hate to shatter the illusion, but the Adams Family on Broadway was not well received. Um, nope. It was there was apparently a lot of fighting going on amongst the cast, especially between uh, Nathan fact, Lane and Patty LuPone. In fact, only one person gave mm. the show a hand. I was trying to be serious. I was trying to tell a story, but you're. I You're was being a whole trying to be surrealist. Ugh. You know what? Go, go play the the that the 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 fucking roller coaster level 155 more times. Ah, uh, so, no, you suck the fattest part of my ass. Okay. Apparently, uh, <laughs> it's the first book to trace the Adams family history, presenting more than 200 cartoons created by Adams during his career including some that were never published, arranged by H. Kevin Miserucci, director of the T. and Charles Adams Foundation. Uh, each chapter shows a chronology of each character's evolution throughout the TV shows, movies, and other depictions. The chapters are headed by Adams' own character descriptions that were used for the TV show producers. And as we all know, Miz Miserucci loves company. <sighs> Sure. Sure. Uh, the opening note for the book says Charles Adams set out not to create a family, but rather to suggest how society as a whole might interpret characters bent on the darker side while living Fine. lives similar to those embracing the light. Described often as strange, eerie, odd, and spooky, the family nevertheless had many of the same joys and woes that all families experience. For example, Keeping the house in order and seeing that the children take responsibility for the welfare of the pets. 
How delightfully refreshing that they had a trap door and a secret panel for the carpenter to fix, that the children arrived home from camp in pet carriers, and that at least one pet was a small dragon. Fun. Fun stuff. Super duper fun. I think it would have been funnier <clears throat> if I was like, you know, Mizrachi, he really loves having his friends over. Is, is it, Does he? Because Yeah, Mizrachi loves company. Okay. See, see, that would have been funnier <clears throat> if I'd done that instead of just getting, going right to the punchline without any setup. You know what would be even funnier? Not saying it at all? Well, no. What I was going to say was not putting yourself down because you're oh, awesome. Right? Okay. okay. No, no. You just assume that I was going to make fun of you. But, you know, being a poopy face. I mean, it's a, it is a safe assumption. Wow. Wow. Huh? That's almost wow. like you know, that's almost like you know me or something. Wow, it's almost like we've been friends for half our lives. Here's a good scrub of the goo, blah 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 blah. Bahama even up. It's a brand new day. <laughs> Scrumming a boopy? Scrumming a boopy? Boopy the bop. Gobbly ba doo ba da ba gee bee. Boop a ba ba dee dee. Boop a ba ba dee dee. Fred, Red, Tom, Mom, Chicken, Scooby Doo. Shit. I didn't mean to do that. Huh. The U.S. gymnastics uh, team had a therapy dog named Beacon. That they did. Oh man, I'm I'm still waiting to see who's going to take the gold medal in the breakdancing competition at the Olympics. Yeah, I'm curious about that. I know uh, they just had uh, skateboarding. And uh, hey. in fact, uh, the man himself is there, uh, Tony Hawk, not competing <laughs> Tony obviously, Howell? but uh, Tony Hawk people. <laughs> is that Tony Hawk? <laughs> More like Tony Sh Stahl. Because <laughs> uh, the joke is, people see Tony Hawk and then wonder if it was actually him. Okay, so I didn't get the DK coin, so I'm going to have to go back through that level. L remember, ladies and gentlemen. Dismember, ladies and gentlemen. 2024 is the year that St. Lucia, as a nation, won its very first ever medal. Fuck. You. Won its very first ever. Fuck. So uh, now I've got Boo Boo Baba Didi stuck in my head. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thanks, uh, Jesus. <laughs> Thanks, so bam. Me, me, Johnny, Johnny, Mister. Well, Break, uh, ah, even Freakazoid, Sebastian. So I, I'm, I don't have a drink currently in my possession, but we can still play. What is, what is Mike drink? Uh, so I, I, my, the most recent soda I have had, what, what do you think it was? Just um, lay out some guesses. Don't work, know. work, work your way to it. Dr. Bob. No. Well, see, usually when I do what is Mike drinking, you're like, is it a Coke product? Is it a Pepsi product? And you like deduce your way to it. Uh, is it a, is it a was it a RC Cola property? No. Although that does sound delicious, actually, right now. Uh, is, is it a Dr. Pepper product? It is not. Was it a Pepsi product? It is not. Was it a Coke product? Yes. Dr. Coke. It is a Coke product. Okay. Uh, is it Sprite-based? Yes. Was it one of the Sprite remix things? No. Hmm. There, there is like a sprite variant that's out right now, like some sort of berry sprite. 
was was it a berry sprite? I uh, I mean you could say that, yeah. It is a sprite mm -hmm. with with uh, fruit in it that's not normally in sprite. Okay, tropical sprite? No. Uh Boysenberry Sprite. Would you do uh, 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 Sprite Chill? Yeah, that is actually the correct answer. Oh, wow. What do I win? Uh, lifetime supply of air. Yay! Hey, wait. <laughs> Yay, I don't have to die. <laughs> but I... But I already have air for free. I already have it. I, I, I freaking, I'm laughing at this tweet. Great point. If the goal is to get kids to actually read books, there's nothing wrong with uh, stuff that are big IP tie-ins like Warhammer, Star Wars, Halo, Dragonlance, etc. Now the literati twaddle brigade will surely scream and clutch their pearls about how dare you read such commercial trash if the goal is to get kids to actually appreciate reading they're only going to do that if they're having fun damn it not that everybody has fun reading about the pathetic muling of rich new yorkers disillusioned by the jazz age in fact apparently very few of us do but me, 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 it has a dragon slash Fuck. rocket ship on the cover. Bitch, Shakespeare is a collection of dick jokes and fight scenes that was written so that he could get paid by an audience whose modern equivalent is the WWE. Get off there your fucking go. high horse. Got it. <laughs> I like that. Shakespeare is a collection of dick jokes and fight scenes written so you could get paid by an audience whose modern equivalent is the WWE. <laughs> at, least it was, at least it wasn't di uh, fights, jokes, and dick scenes. <laughs> Would thou like to see my piss? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I perhaps not. Thou art a bitch. How art a bitch? <laughs> a bitch. A bitch. I'm gonna go to the uh, 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 New Jersey Horror Con because they they're doing a Monster Squad reunion. Guess what? Wolfman's got no arms. Wolfman sucked my ass. Wolfman fuck Wolfman my stuck. Hey. No, seriously. This weekend I am going to convince nice. oh, cool. And, um, oh, 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 um, it's going to be long. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So, people are actually upset about the vice presidential pick. What do they have to be upset about this time? Uh, like Democrats in Minnesota are upset because, uh, if, if elected, they would lose him and he's the only good governor they've had since v Jesse Ventura. Ooh. Oof. Uh... Well, I, I, I could come back if you want me to. Alien kisses. <laughs> <laughs> Don't, Just put it don't, out don't there. Don't tell me I wasn't a governor. I was there in the Gulf of Tonkin doing reps. I know you're... I'm a frogman, and I know you are, too. <coughs> you, you know, I played Super Mario Brothers 3, and Mario was a frogman. <laughs> don't tell me he wasn't, because I saw him. <laughs> In the Gulf of Tonkin. <laughs> Tonkin? Isn't he Have you the ever? Uh, War of the Rings? No. Close. Oh. 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 
Have you ever seen Karrion Cross's fucking uh, impression of Jesse Ventura? It's like fucking spot on. It's like really good. I, I really like Abishak. Well, let me see if I can find the clip real quick. Because I'm gonna, I'll put it in the in the thing, and then I'm gonna let it. I'm gonna play it real quick, also for you at home. You're not gonna you're not gonna see it. You're just gonna hear it. All you need is to hear it. Okay. Oh, it's in my recent search history. Thank God for that. Don't tell me. Oh, hold on. Don't don't play it yet. Don't go nowhere. Here, I put it in the chat first. There it is in the chat, and then I'll play it for those of you at home. Don't tell me you don't have four more reps in you. Come on, Chris. Don't tell me it didn't happen. I was there. Jesse Ventura is here? I was doing tricep extensions in the Gulf of Tonkin. I'm a frogman. So are you, Chris. Come on now. There you go. <laughs> it's really good. It's a really good Jesse Ventura impression. That is a that is a pretty good impression. It's like the only fucking good thing Carrying Cross has done lately. <laughs> it's unfortunate. It's kind of being wasted on the roster job into fucking Odyssey Jones, who hasn't been on Raw in two years. <laughs> even though he was he was drafted two years ago and that never got used until literally today, literally last Monday. <laughs> I guess I gotta go down and around. Yeah, I do. I gotta go down and around. Oh, funky town. Don't you take me to funky town. Funky town. Funky town. Don't you take me to fucking town. Funky town. To funky town. To funky, 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 funky. Funky, 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 like a monkey. And here comes Funky. He dead. He dead. He dead. He dead. He dead. I say you, he dead. The Colonel. Oh, uh, Dane, you see the thing that I sent you? So I, I shared it in the uh, backseat uh, game where just uh, everyone else could laugh at it. Motherfucker. Boeing set to extend $4 million offer to Olympic silver silver medalist Slivler. Yusef. I can't pronounce that last name. Dicatch. It's Dicatch? Yeah, Dicatch. Okay. Yeah, there's. There, there's the little squiggly under the sea. Uh, yeah. Boeing said Yusuf uh, Daikesh will be head of employee relations at the company. He brings a level of precision we are looking for, the Boeing spokesperson mentioned. <laughs> Dude looks like a fucking serial killer. He does look like I, he I does love, look like a hired hitman. I, I love that, like unlike everybody else, he had no fancy gear. You just had regular little foam earplugs and straight up just was like like just one hand in the pocket wearing jeans t-shirt that's all apparently he took up shooting as a hobby because of his divorce oof <laughs> so, uh, he he did shit just to uh, you know spend more time with his kids and that's what the Olympics were an excuse for apparently uh, and other than that, he spends his money on his cats. Fun stuff. Just dude casually just walks his way into a silver medal, basically. Uh, he just woke up one day and was like, you know what? I feel like winning a medal. And you know, something is exactly. Oh, wait a minute. I shouldn't have done this. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I'm going to have to go back through the level because the DK coin's up there, and I can't get it because I'm Remy. 
I ran be the rider. Oh, I can jump that high. Can't stick to honey. Mm -hmm. Huh. Ding, ding, dong. Ding, 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 so, ding, 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 dong. Apparently, Warner Brothers Games is in hot water, and uh, they're looking to sell off the company as quick as possible. What happened? Don't know. Uh, but uh, apparently, uh, this is two weeks after they just bought Player First Games. The people behind their... Uh, uh, multi-versus fighting game. Um, apparently it will help the company avoid possible lawsuits from various debt investors. But nothing has been finalized. Hmm. Yeah, uh, they are the publisher for, of course, Suicide Squad, Kill the Justice League. Uh, the live service game that was met with a poor response from players and critics alike and cost the company $200 million in revenue. Oh. Dick and button, dick and button, dick and button, dick and button. Anyway, back to the level to get the DK coin. Because I can't be Rambi to get it. I gotta do it as the monkeys. Jump. The monkey! Jump! You fuck! Do what I tell you to do. Just do what I ask you to do. Please. It's not really that difficult. Please. Jesus. Salami! <laughs> Salami, 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 Is that what Sting was singing about? Man, he just wanted some food. God, why didn't people just give us a damn food? Yeah. For God's sakes. Zibba dibba brand new day. Absolutely bonkers. Absolutely, positively. Whack a doodle. Uh, did we lose Mike? No, I'm still here. Or uh, maybe I'm not. The whole like the whole stream like froze on me. Hmm. Uh, is it good now? Game back. Yeah, yeah back, I, some, it somehow like I got, I don't know like why, but I got, in place and I was like, somehow what? I disconnected and I don't know how. Somehow Palpatine returned. Whatever. So, somehow, uh, somehow Robert Downey Jr. returned. Oh, okay. And this time he's a bad guy, not a good guy. Robert Downey, Robert Downey snuck Oh, God. This, this fight is fucked with friggin' lag. This fight is fucked with friggin' lag? Is that what you said? Yeah. Oh, that was a good shot. I'm back in line so I can fuck your sister. Wait, what? 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 Excuse me? What? Excuse me. Excuse me? Scuzzy. Scuttlebutt? Scuzzlebutt? 
<laughs> Whoa, that was good. Uh, nice. Oh, that was two really good shots in a row. Oh, now it's just this dude. Kill him. He did. Uh, and here comes King Sting. He's dead. Well, man. Thinking. And here comes Gloomy. He's Gulch. And that's uh, where we're. Gulchy, he's Gloom. That's where we're stopping today. Thank you for joining us for this edition of Backseat Gamer. If you like what we do, please hit subscribe and be sure to hit the bell to be notified of upcoming videos. For Dan Ford Jones and Jason Amherst, I'm Mike Riley saying see you next time. <laughs> next time. I hiccuped in the middle of saying it. Sorry.